Hey, y'all boys remember the last time we was in the stadium on Monday night? Y'all know how much fun we had? Hey, let's turn it up now. Thursday night football returns to Nissan Stadium, and the Titans find themselves a solid underdog. Garoppolo takes the snap, firing. Down the middle, pass is intercepted. There it is. Gives Foreman at left guard, pounding into the end zone. Touchdown! Tight. There's a touchdown. Can L drops. Pressure coming. He fires downfield. Touchdown! Tight. Arthur one Brown. Welcome home. Snap. Set. Kick. Screaming like that. Welcome one and all to the Titans Blitz. I'm Lance Smith. You're still excited about the win on Thursday night. This is Matt Rogers right here. Let's go. You can be excited. We're in the driver's seat, baby. Man. Oh, Matt, good to have you back, sir. It is good to be here, especially under these circumstances. Yes. Feels good. Uh, you know, we just we need Mike Keith right here. We would have all three voices of the stadium. He's the voice of the team and everything. His He's voice the, does right. something to my insides that make me want to run through a brick wall. The whole sack I thing alone. That's that should be a ringtone. Uh, guys, uh, a happy holidays. Hope everybody had a, had a good Christmas. Got a got New Year's coming up. Uh, did you have a good Boxing Day? Uh, I did have a good Boxing Day. I didn't know what that was until you texted me Happy Boxing Day, and I'm like, what is that? But you told me. It's <laughs> the day after Christmas. <laughs> Canadians love it. Uh, anyway, enough about Canadians. Uh, yeah, man, the Titans get it done again in prime time. Uh, let's get to it. We got a lot to get to, so let's do some hot takes uh, with Matt and talk about the Thursday night football game. Once again, hey, Titans on primetime this season. 3-0, and baby. Woo! 3-0. The Bills, the Rams, and now the Niners. And I They're think, all gone. I think on all those, everybody picked the other You're team. You're underdogs. Every, under, every, every, every time. And it's, I mean, it's so great. It's like, you know, especially like in the beginning of the season, it's kind of, we're kind of like, oh, you know, is our, is our defense going to be good? How are we mm -hmm. going to play? And now it's like. We walk into games like, oh, yeah. it's our defense. It's like, you know, who held Kittle to one catch? We did. Who held Mahomes to no touchdowns? We did. We like, did. Our defense yes. rocks. It rolls. And it does. It rocks and rolls. <laughs> uh, but, but the first half of said game, uh, it was looking a little suspect, but it was that defense that turned things around. It was. The, the Jackrabbit Jenkins interception in the end zone, instead of it being 14 nothing, turned it around. The deep, Look at that thing of beauty right there. Uh, and then it was all about the second half. And, man, after that, uh, <laughs> the second half was amazing. Welcome back, AJ. Well, AJ Brown, unbelievable. I was just going to say about that interception, too. Like, when we were up in the booth and I'm calling and they're about to drive and it's about to be 14-0. Yeah. That's when you're like, and, I, you know, I, I look over, you know, at everyone. I'm like, oh, man, this could be ugly. And then Jenkins got the yeah. – it, it just turned everything around, momentum shift. And like you said, welcome back, AJ. I mean – I had him starting on my fantasy team, and because of A.J. Brown, I'm in the Super Bowl, baby. Oh, he owes you something. <laughs> yeah. He owes you something. He we'll went make off. make sure we put in a call for that. Uh, <laughs> it just, I mean, but it just shows what a dominant force he is. And one of the things, you know, he, he likes to say early on is that he's always open. Yeah. His Instagram is 1K always open. Yeah. And the dude's always he open. Was always he open. He showed it. Uh, hopefully that continues for the rest of the season and the post. Uh, but it was it, it was a, it was incredible. And then back to that defense uh, held the 49ers to a touch, just a touchdown, lone touchdown in the second half. Really shut down their weapons. They were super fast. Uh, Monty Hooker's uh, uh, interception as well deserves a, a tip of the cap because it was. Uh, it was about coaching and defensive domination in the second half. It really told the story. I was going to say, I mentioned earlier, too, about how earlier on, like, you know, after the Arizona game and the Seattle game, it's like, oh, gosh, our defense and our DBs. But now, like, Buster Screen, mm -hmm. of course you got Kevin Byard and now Hooker. It's like, mm -hmm. we have really good lockdown backfield, like, it's exciting. It's confidence. Yes, it is confidence. Bud Dupree is, of course, getting his sea legs back under him. He, he came into the team a little injured, but then he got the, the, the um, abdominal strain, which put him out for a while, but that seemed to give him time to heal up. And we are, I don't want to say 
peaking just yet, but we're getting sharp at the right time. We are getting sharp at the right time. I could not have said it any better. <laughs> and it's, it's exciting because, you know, now we have confidence. It's like, look, man, you got to give credit to the coaching staff and just the team as a whole. Like, this is a tough team. Like, we've won games with our B squad in a lot of, you know, in a lot of yeah. banged up guys, and now they're all coming back. And it's like, what are we really capable of? Absolutely. Uh, before we go to break, though, this is your, your first season as PA. Prior to this, you were PSL holder yes. and season ticket member, Matt Rogers. Yes. Uh, sitting in the seat, uh, is, it, is it any more sort of special? Are, you, uh, are nerves added to it because your fandom is at stake uh, as well? Yeah, honestly, because like now, like my thing was I wanted to have a fingerprint on the environment. And I think, you know, obviously the team is playing way different, but like that stadium is freaking hype, dude. Yeah. Like, I mean, I, I don't know the official stat and I'm going to find out after this, but like we have way more false starts on the opposing team this year than we've ever had. And it's oh, because yeah. the fans are getting in it. Yeah. They're getting into Let's it, go. baby. Yeah. They definitely made the atmosphere electric on Thursday night. It's going to keep going. We got a game Sunday, which we will talk about. We got more to the show. Stick around. We got more Titans Blitz coming up right now. Here's yeah. some Nissan yeah. Merrill yeah. moments. We'll be right back. Yeah. Woo. Tannehill would love to get a free five here as we're inside 10 seconds. He does get him to jump. It's a free play. Tannehill steps up, fires deep downfield, going for Brown. AJ's got it at the 30-yard line. Tannehill looking under pressure, can run this thing. Tannehill to the 50, to the 45, to the 40, to the 35, and he's taken down at the 32-yard line. The legs of Ryan Tannehill, the magic man. are happy. Welcome back to the Titans Blitz. We're coming to you live from Nissan Stadium, downtown Nashville. I am Lance Smith, and joining me now here on the show, the one and only comedian, DJ Crawford right here. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Who we got over here? Uh, these guys right here are my handsome sons. Uh, who I'm really excited that they're here, man. Look at these Let's guys. These guys. We, Look at these we guys. We off bumper. They're all smiling for the camera. They are excited. Yes, they're really excited. They haven't stopped smiling since they were here, man. Uh, DJ, why are, why are they so excited? Well, they're excited because, number one, y'all are about to see. Uh, number one, we, we, we did work on Thursdays. Shouts out to the Titans. Did yeah. 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 Oh. And DJ Pryor uh, here. Sorry, I have Crawford in the brain. No, I, I, said, nah, I was yeah, going to go I with it. it. I was yeah, going to go with it. You did that. I was like, I know it was, I said It was good. See, improv. Uh, DJ Pryor here has been coming to these games, uh, experiencing football yes. uh, for the uh, for the first time. Yeah. Uh, but you brought your family and made this family fair, and we had the lights for you. Yes, we had the lights. The lights were amazing, and and really this whole thing because it was looking dark at first. It was looking dark. The game was looking dark in the first and, half. Yeah, in the first half, and then it shifted and. You see them come alive. Uh, my wife and my kids are, are, are were just devoted to this win, and when it wasn't working, they was upset. They was upset. And, and they, they were and they were getting into it. But yeah. ma but man, I, let me tell you something. For, for as long as I've known this guy now, yeah, DJ Pryor. Yeah, uh, he uh, <laughs> a family man extraordinaire. And yeah. and in this clip you're about to see, I, I mean, you are funny as all get out. Thank and you. I love watching you work a room. Yeah. But more than anything, I love watching you be a dad. Yeah. And and you get to see Thank it you, uh, in real time right here. Thank it's you, DJ Pryor, and all tightened up. This is good stuff. Towards the night before Christmas, well, actually. Two nights before Christmas, it actually was. We witnessed as a family our Christmas gift. Here, I'll just show you. You have to understand how important this moment is. The last game of 2021, and two days before Christmas, and me and my family came with a high level of expectation. Excited? Uh, what's your favorite part? The Titans. What about the Titans? What do you want the Titans to do? We need W. That's enough. Let's go! Looking, looking, firing, and it's intercepted! Intercepted by Jack Rabbit Jenkins! What are you doing? See, here's one of the kickers about taking your family to the game, right? 
You gotta feed your kids, so you gotta get in these lines. That's another thing. You gotta stop, go to the bathroom. You have fun? It was ugly at times. Each team making some big mistakes, but the 49ers been in front this entire game so far. I gotta admit, it wasn't looking good for us. But then, it happened. Everything turned around. Fires down the middle, pass is intercepted. There it is! Hooker, 30, 25, Hooker, 20. And oh. Samuel gets him down in the back of the end zone. Touchdown! Tight! There's a touchdown! He fires downfield. Touchdown! Titans! Arthur! One! Brown! Welcome home! This, this is what it's all about. They will do what they always do. They're gonna win. All about the love of the game, the love for our Titans. It doesn't matter what race you are or what political party you belong to. Here, this brings us all together. This is the Christmas spirit. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from the Titans and the Pride. Keeks in the house. Jabari is the uh, is the Nostradamus. Yes, he yo he be getting emotional when it ain't right. He be like, yo, what are we doing? But man, listen, we had a great time, man. I'm so glad y'all are here, man. I love my boys, man. I love my kids, that my was, family, my wife, everybody. And, and they good. love you. Yeah. Uh, some light show, huh? Yeah. That was oh man, it was epic. It? it was epic. Epic. I love it, man. Shout out to the light show, man. That was great. Uh, shout out to your family, ladies yes, and gentlemen. Man. DJ Pryor in the house. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, hey. everybody. Dolphins game coming up. Let's do it. A lot of fans in town. Let's do it. Uh, you gonna do it? I'm gonna do it. All right, we'll talk to you uh, after that game. Guys, yes. stick around. We got more Titans Blitz on the other side. Oh! We'll be right back. Yeah, that crowd is excited. Welcome back to the Titans Blitz. It's now time for everyone's favorite Titans game. The Titans Trivia Gauntlet. Right, all right, here we go. I am joined by uh, John and Ed here. Ed, how you doing? Where are you from? Um, doing well. Thanks for asking. How are you doing? I'm well. I'm well. I'm, you know, here at the end of the season. We're, we're, we're wrapping it up. Look, man, I'm looking at the playoffs. I'm excited. Let's do it. Yes. All right. John, John, you good? Good, good. Yeah? Where are you uh, I'm... Mur uh, Murfreesboro. Murfreesboro, yeah. Yep. I, I got my eye on you, John. I remember <laughs> you. I know you. All right, here's how we go. Uh, we're going to ask you some questions. One point apiece. They're easy at the top. They get harder. And there's a nice little prize at the end of the rainbow. You ready? Mm, let's Doesn't do matter. it. Do I'm going to ask the questions. Anyway, here we go. Question number one. Ed, you won the rock, paper, scissors. It goes to you. What color is an NFL coach's challenge flag? Do I need to give you multiple choice? Uh, Yellow, blue, red, or green? I'll take red. I hope so. <laughs> uh, throw my challenge flag at you. Ooh. Correct. One point to you. John, next question. Where is the ball spotted after a touchback? Would that be the 10, the 15, the 20, or the 25 yard line? 25. 25 yard line. Somebody pays attention when he watches the games. Jersey math time for you, Ed. Ryan Tannehill's number plus AJ Brown's number equals 26, 27, 28, or 29. Doing the math. Carrying the one. <laughs> Over to the other. 28. 28! That is correct. 17 plus 11. That's how we do that, kids. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, John, you got to tie this thing up. Question for you. Which Titan was also a teammate of kicker Randy Bullock at Texas A&M? Was that Brett Kern, Ryan Tannehill, Taylor Lewan, or Jackrabbit Jenkins? That would be the man that is named or named for my son, uh, Ryan Tannehill. Ryan Tannehill. I didn't nice. know where we were going with that. <laughs> yes. Can your son hold a ball for his pussy? All right, two, here we go. Uh, next question for you, Ed. It's getting a little tougher now. Which Titans player earned the nicknames Shaka and El Tractorcito before joining the Titans? Would that be Derrick Henry, Ben Jones, Taylor Lewan, or Julio Jones? Man, I don't know that one. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, so I'm just gonna throw out. 
He's number one, Derrick Henry. You're gonna go, you're gonna go with Derrick Henry? He's gonna give it a shot. Sure, El Tractorcito. Yeah. All right, correct. Moving on, next for you, John. How long is a football field from back of one end zone to the back of the other? 100 yards, 110 yards, 120 yards, or 140 yards? Want to say 120? Want to say 120? It is 120. That is correct. 10 yards apiece in each end zone. All tied up. Ed, to you, who has the most sacks in the franchise's Titans era? Kyle Vandenbosch, Javon Kurse, Keith Bullock, Albert Hainsworth. The most sacks. Now I'm going to go ahead and say Javon Kurse. The freak! Correct? I know. Four to three. <laughs> All right, hey, final question. Final question. You both get to answer uh, you first here. Final question. Here we go, John. Uh, who was president of the United States when the Titans moved to Tennessee? Ronald Reagan, George H.W. Bush, Bill Clinton, or George W. Bush? Clinton. Clinton, and what about you, Ed? What say you for two points? I'm gonna say it was old uh, Slick Willie. Going with Clinton and the game. He just raced you to the end. Two points and the game. It was Bill Clinton. Yes. Ed, you are the winner. Don't gloat too much. Yeah. Congratulations. You just won an autograph any helmet by none other than Kevin Byard, the best safety in the end. Yeah. Yeah. The mayor of Murfreesboro. All right, that is the Titans trivia gauntlet. Stick around. We're going to talk about this Dolphins game and closing out this division on the other side. Titans Blitz. We'll be right back. Okay, man. Welcome back to the Titans Blitz, coming to you live from Nissan Stadium, downtown Nashville. Lance Smith, Matt Rogers, back with you here on the show. Uh, before we talk about this game coming up, exciting as it's going to be, a little house business to take care of. Do pay attention to this. This is very cool. Check it out. The Titans uh, have teamed up with Ashton Real Estate and the Byard Family Legacy Fund to host a shoe drive for children and teens in foster care. The inaugural Nashville Kick for Kids drive will be held at Nissan Stadium this Sunday against the Dolphins. We're asking you, the fans, to bring their new or gently used sneakers of all sizes to drop off around locations around the stadium before entering the game. Visit at NashvilleKicks.org for more info or to donate to the Byard Family Legacy directly, Legacy Fund directly as a way to say thank you. Donors will be eligible to win a signed Kevin Byard football. So bring the shoes, y'all. Bring the shoes. It's for a really great cause. Yeah. But uh, don't bring them into the stadium. Leave them outside and then, then come in. Uh, Matt Rogers. Yes. Dude, this, this, this is what I'm talking about. Meaningful football in January, even though we got one more game, week 18. This is new um, this year. <laughs> Uh, the Dolphins, hot as they are. Who have they played? Shut them down. Who have they played I, no in the one. last seven games? No one. I, Thank you. I will give them credit for the way they took out the Ravens. That, that zero blitz, all swarm shutting down Lamar. Hey, it was yeah. a good game. This is a good football team. It's an okay football team. It's a good football team. We're a good football we team. We are a better football yes, team. Yes, we are. But that's my point. It's like. We've had the Jets, we've had the Steelers games, we've had the Texans. Like, we know not to overlook this stuff with where right. they are. But this will be a defensive battle. They, they've be. got a good defense. And, you know, and you and I were kind of talking off camera. I think that Tannehill has mm -hmm. his best game this Sunday. Yeah. I really do. It's his yeah. former team. Yes. Uh, I think our O-line is going to be wholesome and healthy and back. And I just think it's different. I do think it's going to be a defensive battle, but I think Ryan Tannehill rises to the occasion. And again, it's the NFL. We had, have had these letdown games. I don't think this is going to be one of them. I think the stakes are too high. Mm -hmm. And I think this is the first step to the Titans hosting the first AFC championship game in the stadium's history. Oh, my God, let's go. Can we say that? Yes. It's a little early. One, it's a little early. One step at a time. One step at a time. It's first uh, step. Uh, we need this front four of ours to get to Tua because uh, he's been figuring it out lately. He's been lighting up. Tua's a good quarterback. Uh, over 2,300 yards passing, 15 TDs. Uh, and again, like you said, a seven-game a a winning streak. So keeping him in check. But I think our defense, are, they're, they're licking their chops. Uh, they're, they're ready. I'm excited for the game. Again, not taking it for granted. You definitely never want to chalk up a dub before you actually have it. But... I feel good about this game. I feel yeah. confident. Jalen Waddell, uh, rookie receiver, possibly going to go over 1,000 yards, most likely for the season. Uh, the weapons are there. This is a team on the rise. But catching us at 
It's just the right time, right? We got, we got, we're a buzzsaw waiting to happen again. Well, and, you, and you said it too. It's like the weather should be like 35 and chilly. That's, that's not dolphin 35 weather. 35 at kickoff. I don't know any dolphins that swim in 35 degree weather. Yes, that's not dolphin weather. Uh, all right. So you have score prediction? Score prediction, yeah, I do. I'm putting you on the spot. 31 17 Titans. Ooh, Drop the mic. I like it. Tannehill gonna... throws for four. I'm going to go with it. Four. I like it. Four. You're calling it. You're calling Tannehill it throws first. for four TDs. We'll talk about it on their side. You guys excited? We're wrapping up this season. AFC South is at stake at this Let's game. Go. Bring the noise. Bring the hype.